Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we are ready to hopefully head out and finally kill the Baron. But we are having a small change to our roster. We're still going to stay with Linus, Artemis, uh, or Amorous should I say, and uh, Lucas because they've been doing us amazingly. We're also going to bring... Ronaldus or Ronaldius, um, the Dragon Slayer, instead of Victoria. While Victoria has some really strong ties to the story, she cannot, in good faith, face the Baron. It's too difficult for her. And Ronaldius really wants to head out there and show his might, show his worth. We're going with the extra repose damage and accuracy, along with the uh, the Sun. I was tempted to take his uh, Dragon Slayer's Band for that 20% versus ties 2 and 10% in, um, in area 1, but I really want that speed and the crit and minus chance party surprised is really nice. And we could clearly see that that was working, even though it's based on light and light isn't a thing in the Crimson Court. So I think we're, we're fine to go ahead with that. We of course know we're going to need a lot more blood than we brought last time, so I'm going to bring two full stacks of blood this time. And I think that should hopefully see us through. We went through a lot of and a lot of blood last time. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we're quite close to running out. But apparently, as soon as you kill the Baron, um, you get the Crimson Curse wiped off of everyone. It gets immediately wiped off everyone from a town event. So we can look forward to that. That's going to be nice. Uh, but I think this is going to be our party. And we do have some diary entries sort of to tie into this story. The first one coming from TEA. And this is for uh, Victoria, our Duchess, after returning home from the courtyard. I staked my thirst and wet my blade, walked those stone paths which were once so familiar to me. Now the rampant overgrown uh, and the pools of blood are everywhere, and the thick mist obscures my vision. Hard to believe that that place was once my home. I helped those heroes cut their way through most of it, but I cannot fight the, the Baron. I knew him too well. He sickened me then, and he'll sicken me now. I'll be satisfied seeing his head on a stick once they've done the job in my place. Awesome. And then we've also got another one by TEA, and this one's for Lucas, our rescuer, after returning home once again. I've dreaded going there to the courtyard. The other doctors told me how vicious a disease was and, wh um, and what it did, but I went anyways. I suppose I felt it was my duty. Someone had to go, so why not me? Well, anyways, I got it, and Isaac was no liar. I began to feel the craving for blood, and knowing what could happen if I starved myself, I did not hesitate to drink, and I'm ashamed to say that it felt amazing in the moment. But now, it only scares me. The others caught it as well and we drank our way through our whole supply while we were out there. And another note written hastily on a page a day later. I'm going to see Isaac. One of my teeth came out, replaced by a fang. Oh, awesome. Absolutely awesome. So let's jump on in. Uh, we've got everyone trinketed up and ready. This party worked out really well for us last time. Uh, we traded over... Linus's uh, trinket just for this extra uh, bit of maximum HP because he kept hitting death's door quite easily and while I did like that bonus accuracy on him. It was really nice. I think that this is going to be truly good The only other thing that I'm really tempted to take on him is Something that is going to give us debuff skill chance like this, but the thing is with that it, we're getting that minus 10 healing and I, I I really don't know if I want that like it's it's a it's a strong risk but at the same time being able to being able to land these debuffs without really having to worry is pretty nice I mean we already have pretty high levels on most of our debuffs which isn't terrible but still it would be nice to have them higher but I think I think we'll stick with what we've got going on there, and we'll grab our provisions, um, consume one interpretation, of course, still embark. So yeah, we're going to take two stacks of blood here, so there you go, just in case. I doubt we'll need all six, but we get to take them back if not. We'll bring all of the food, uh, we'll bring six shovels, and we'll bring six of everything else. Actually, we'll, we'll bring eight shovels, we'll bring eight of everything. Although I think we found that we didn't really need medical herbs, didn't we? Same with same with anti venom. So let's buy like five anti venom, five of them. Same with these, we'll bring five of them. Holy water, we definitely need more of. Let's bring eight of those. 
Laudanum is useful, but I, I don't think we need it. And then torches, we need quite a lot of, so I'll just bring a full stack of those. Um, 36. Uh, of course, we're not doing anywhere near as much of the mission as we did last time on these provisions, so we should be fine. But I still want to prepare and be, be sort of ready anyways, so I am willing to spend a little more going into here. But let's embark once again. It should start us off where we left off last time. And we have made our way about two-thirds of the way through this, so hopefully one more good hour of exploration will get us there. Um, and we can hopefully have a nice time and see what happens hopefully the baron goes down quick but we do have a lot of characters we've repost and i have seen some of the baron battle from previous videos quite a while ago i know that she's very susceptible to um very very susceptible indeed to uh getting hit by repost she has some quite big aoe attacks uh, what we got here this requires what what cure does this require medical herbs We'll go for that. Bit of money. There you go. Fair stack of money. Ready and waiting. Uh, so something that I know, I kind of know how we find her. There you go. She's there. This is this is her there. So the Baron is right here. This 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 locked door enters into the Baron. So we have to find this key. So let's go and, and move our way around. So getting that scout was really nice there. But yeah, I was just about to say, I know for a fact that she resides within like a sort of alcove. Uh, what curio interaction is this? That's a shovel. We've got eight shovels. I'll go for that. There's our camping fire. Nice. That's good. I was told about those previously. That's going to be good. I wonder, is there any way to check the size of an enemy before, like, like during battle? Either way, let's the heading tactics to start. We kind of know the combat. This group, we, we know really, really well. One really interesting interaction that is the reason why I'm bringing Ronaldis the Dragon Slayer is because I didn't actually know that motiv motivational hypnosis refreshes use per battle skills. This has a one use per battle, which means that we can, in the Baron fight, we don't really need to do it in other battles, but in the Baron fight especially, we can stack this up to some insane levels. Uh, we can do 6 to 13. We can kill this guy, so let's kill him. Uh, yeah, we can we can really get some crazy stuff going on. So well, that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. We do have a little bit of stress here on Linus, but he's going to be taking things out. He can probably get a kill here with a crit. And he got a crit because he's a beast. Thank you, Linus. Right, the thirst coming in. Of course, only Ronaldo's here can actually gain the Crimson Care, so we don't have to worry about that too much anymore, at least. And I'm just going to go for the heal. I really want to stay on top of our healing here. You can get pushed back and hit pretty big. And we got to think Ronaldo has that 25% damage against size 2, so we're going to see big hits there. A lot of kills coming in. And there you go. We'll keep pushing forward. This shouldn't actually be too long of an episode in terms of this. Damn it. You fool. You fool. I don't know what he has that made us do that. Obsessed with food. This probably could have got us another... Um... Yeah, that, that probably could have got us another... Campfire. I think that's the campfire one. Another one that requires shovel. We'll come back to that. We're going to be coming back this way anyway, so we'll come back to that one. We don't need to do that yet. We know that we have one shovel usage here, but there could be more exploration past this, so I don't want to be too hasty with using our resources. Okay. You're still in Bloodlust, so you're going to be doing a lot of damage at the minute, so I want to get off the damage when I can. I can't believe that marks everyone as well. It's so good. There's that repost and a bleed. Very nice. Probably do some stress relief here. Everyone's got a little bit... Um, it's going to move us forward one with a pretty high chance to stun. I mean, we could just kill this Bloodsucker, which I think is probably better. Good, good. Killing those is going to be a good idea. Nice dodge, Linus. Linus is an absolute beast. Right, we're going to go for this. Got a crit on the back there. Nice bit of bleed. And of course, the regular. Also, this has some single-use skills as well, this character. So we can actually refresh some of our single-use skills with that as well. There's that AoE heal coming in handy. We did get some bleed on us there, but we can easily get that off with first aid. You go for, go for the guy that's got the repose. Just heal everyone up, why don't you? Keep healing them up. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. 
Do you know what? You did exactly what I wanted you to do, sir. I can't really complain. Okay, we've got a guard on this guy, which isn't great. But this will kill you, so I'm going to do that again. And this bleed will kill you. And it's not going to kill you, but it's going to do decent damage. So we can just finish you off with that. And there you go. Battle over already. As you can see, this group is going to be pretty powerful. I think Rinaldius is, is one of those characters that he's... He is probably not like he doesn't fit in a lot with people, really. He doesn't he doesn't fit in too well with many people. But at the same time, I feel like he knows that and he kinda takes advantage of it. And even even without knowing people, he's he's willing to, to join the join the ranks and join the fight, even if it is in the courtyard, the dreaded courtyard. Right, we we'll use that again. So I'm not exactly sure where the um, the key. We're at 69 food. Nice. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where this key presides. We might have to go quite far before we find it. We might end up have already been past it, to be honest. Uh, but I think we've just got to keep marching forward and find out, don't we? Keep on going. Um, you require blood. Do you know what? We've got enough. I will give you some blood. Uh, we got ourselves antiquarian prot. I'll take the prot. Other thing, uh, also you can have some blood. I just, I don't want to ever be below like four blood. I want to always be at four. But yeah, it's going to, it's going to be a little while before we find this key most likely. Wow. Okay, so. Um, I'm not going to use any more shovels, but we now have three firewood. Wasn't expecting that. Also, we can heal up quite a lot there with food. Yeah, so we now have an insane amount of firewood. Um, considering I believe we do have a prevent nighttime ambush. There you go, look. Um, we can probably use that at kind of any point um, to absolutely destroy the boss. I'm not going to use that this time around. I'm going to save my blood. Okay, let's activate repurse this time on people and just go full repurse on the group. Right, nice. Then... Repursed on you. With that dodge, that's going to help. Lovely, there's that dodge coming in handy. Oh, the repurse is just doing so well. Look at that. Everything's just dying to repurse right now. It's great. You have a little bit of bleed on two of our people here. No problem. We can heal that off. Any moment now. I'm just going to finish someone off here. I probably should have finished off the other guy. That guy did have bleed in him, but that's fine. And finish you off. And then first aid. That gets everyone's healing up nicely, but also cures that bleed. Um, I'm going to cure myself here. I feel like my health's a little low. And there's a 20 crit heal. Wasn't expecting that, but very welcome. Rest sight. Definitely going to want some stress healing going on here. That drag to the front is not good. We did give you some blood already, didn't we? We did. That's going to hit you there. Nice. Rib cracker. Hey, thank you for reorganizing people for me. Worked out just fine. Yeah, let's use this. Cure off some of that stress. Nine stress healing there. It's pretty good. Um... Don't really think there's anything we need to do here. Let's just keep repurse going. His repurse damage is insane. Um, and we'll keep that going as well. Get everyone healed back up. Him being at the back is is relatively annoying, but nonetheless, we can deal with it. I'm going to do that to try and take care of a few bodies. It should take care of at least one. Oh, no. You crit me for two. And you did move yourself to the front as well, which opens you up to some nice spicy hits. Ronaldo doesn't have the most insane damage ever, but he does make up for it in his utility. Okay, you're in, you're in craving now as well, so let's feed you some blood, Linus. You can have some as well. Remind yourself that there you go. I'm assuming this will loop back around and this will be near to where we find our key. Keep using this because we're getting good stuff from these thus far. Lots of food. And the thing is, food is just such good healing for us right now. Considering we have so much of it. Nice trap trap dodge. Linus wasn't particularly paying attention there while he was scoffing his face. 
he let a trap get by him, unfortunately. Yeah, look, this is looping all the way around. So I'm not sure which... I think it'll be here, most likely, won't it? Um, is that another medical herbs? God damn. I swear last time we didn't find a single thing that required medical herbs, and this time it's like, do you like food? Right, repurse is going to be another good one here, I think. I think we go for a, a few repurse. It's maddening wine there. It's pretty, pretty aggressive. That's a kind of annoying situation there as well. Uh, let's get the guard on you again. I think guarding Linus is going to be perfect because he is pretty weak. In terms of maximum HP, at least, compared to the rest of the group. There's some of that horror I was thinking of. This is definitely going to be some motivational hypnosis we're going on here. Um, sorry. The uh, fumes and then we're going to do motivational hypnosis next turn, I think. Good, good. Keep everyone topped up. We just want to keep that stress down. Right, finish you. Make sure you can't do anything more. Everything else is relatively full HP, but that's okay. Nice, that's a perfect dodge. We needed that. Thirst coming on Linus, but I protect. Um, yeah. Oh, unfortunate miss there. Let's just keep doing this. Get that stress down as low as we can. And, yeah, heal ourselves up again. Another crit for 20. We're getting lucky with those. We've been getting a few of those smackaroons. Ho oh, ho ho. The repurse. It's so good. You're going to refuse. That's okay. Okay, nice. He's almost dead. We'll do this here because this is going to kill him and hopefully bleed on you. Not enough to get a kill, but bleed's a bleed. Bombing run there. Actually, the first time I've seen bombing run happen while I've been in here. It's going to apply some bleed, but we particularly don't care about bleed, really. Um... Because we, he we heal up with our AoE heals, and then Lucas just absolutely rips the bleed right off of him. He bandages the wounds quicker than you can say they're bleeding. He sees the wound, and he's like, nope, wrapped. No one's getting to you. Bloodlust. These two are both in Bloodlust right now. Uh, yeah, so it's a pretty easy do this, because it should clear the bleed, yeah. Clear the bleed right off of both of them. Nice and easy, and you're down. This guy's going to be a little harder, but now that he's moved forward, one liner should be able to get a nice strike on him. Not quite enough to take him down, but near to. And I think we just carry on with this, don't we? Carry on with that. Four plus 45 death blow resist. Unfortunately, that doesn't do any damage at all for us. And as much as we don't need it, we need stress relief on, um, on this guy here, so I'm going to do it anyways. And you're done. Taken down. And we get some of our blood back. We get some crests, uh, which I will take over... Do you know what? I'll take them over emeralds for now. I like money, but we we need to do a lot of upgrades in the town. And I think uh, gathering this sort of stuff is going to be helpful. Can't believe we're much. We've got 79 food. What the hell? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Also... My god, this area. The closer you get to the Baron, the more food there is. I'm guessing that's on purpose. I'm guessing this isn't random chance. What's this? Requires bandages. These ones are relatively shite, but we've got enough bandages to use it. I'll go for it. Yep. More than relatively. Very shite. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we've got a little path down here. We should definitely go this way. We need to find that key at all costs. We could take another firewood here. I guess we do. Oh, we can only take three stacks. I didn't know that there was a stack limit. As much as they're good, I'm gonna take that anyways and just do that because, yeah, we should we should just camp like crazy before the boss and stack all, up all of, our, all of our buffs. I'm assuming you can camp multiple times in a row and stack buffs, right? That makes sense to me. Do that. He's resisted every single one of these stuns so far. Great. Damsel in distress. Okay, these two are quite a pair. Quite a pair. The damage isn't really too bad. It's more the stress I'm worried about. And it's weird because we can cure stress so easily. We shouldn't really have to worry about that. But 
I do. I still worry. Um, let's get the bleed on these guys. Get that debuff on them. Speed and accuracy on that guy. Nice hit. Do you know what? Let's just do that as well. Get another repurse going. Got three repursts up at the minute. Um, Yoga died to bleed. Let's try and stun you. Nice. That helps out a lot. The fact that we have a stun in Ronaldus as well is really, really powerful. I know we haven't used his, um, his earth yet, but that's kind of more of a, a boss thing. We don't need it yet. This bleed should kill you. Oh no, it's not quite going to, but you are stunned, so it doesn't really matter. Nice. Okay. And I guess we go for another one of these while we have the chance. Should lower our stress as much as possible and finish you off with a huge crit. Nice. More blood. Blood for the blood gods. Okay, still no key. Still no key. Oh, look, you've healed yourself while you have full health. How useful for you. You've just filled up your belly. I'm surprised it doesn't add a slow debuff to these guys when they're full. Do you know, like, because they're weightier. They've got a lot more to lug around. It'd be interesting to see if it lowered their speed a little bit once they're full. Or if they filled up more of a multiple turns. I know mosquitoes sometimes do blow themselves up. Like, they, they drink so much blood that they just explode. Like, in real life. So it'd be kind of cool to see that in game, where if they, if they used the thirst too much and got too much blood, they'd just kill themselves and explode and, like, give everyone a bleed. The blood. That'd be an interesting move. Like a redesign sort of thing. Let's go with this. Your health's getting a little low. Linus needs a little bit of healing as well. But this guy is so dead. Linus and Ronaldo are just doing crazy, crazy good damage. They keep it going. At least More scouting. So, the problem is it could be up this way as well. Or it could just be here. I think to save myself some pain and agony, I'm going to go and check this room here just in case. Because I could end up going to a ton of rooms that I have absolutely no need to go to. I mean, while it's a good idea to go to them nonetheless, because we're going to be getting a bunch of loot, at the same time, I don't want to waste my time. Or yours. Uh, I, I want to I wanna try and kill the Baron when we can. We've got a battle here. Not a particularly tough one. Um, start off with this. We don't need the healing desperately. Okay, that's going to move us forward. Oh, no, it didn't. We resisted. Lovely. Uh, let's get the guard going. When well, there's this many enemies, and I know a few of these have AoE, I like to set up that repost. This guy's always lurking behind our fights. Ooh, 12. That's the most damage I've ever seen you do with that. There you go. Oh, the way he points at his little list, like, hey, look at you, look at my trap. Look at, look at the work I've done. Goddamn. Stressing the hell out. Nice. Wow, you're doing some crazy damage right now. Right, let's, uh, first of all, let's do this. Get everyone topped up. Then you need some stress relief. A thirst coming in. They never target Ronaldo's with a thirst. I'm very glad. <laughs> He's just chilling at the moment. More stress coming in. Bloodlust. Right, um... Plus torch, self-stress, and then a big heal for allies. I'm just going to do this for the self-stress more than anything. The heal is great. We can refresh that anyways. Nice crit. Lovely. And Lance, you're going to take this guy out in one hit or not. <laughs> this guy can call more enemies sometimes as well, so you got to be careful. Bombing run. Ow. Stunned himself, though. Nice bit of self-stun. Ooh, rare. It's a self-burn. Let's just absolutely demolish him. Four HP left. Come on, Linus. Annihilate this. Oh, a miss. I really don't think 
an enemy should be able to dodge while stunned, by the way. I, I, I still, to this day, it baffles me when an enemy that is stunned dodges. If I, if I miss, uh, by the way, I realized that that was me missing. I realized that. Um, but in the, there is times where it, the enemy clearly dodges while it's stunned. It just, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, how would that be possible? If you're stunned and can't move, how would you dodge? How would you, how would you, like, predict something coming at you? Yeah, so this isn't what we need. Right, so we, we still need this key then. Uh, Linus, please um, disarm this trap for us. Thank you. Small bit of stress relief. You're at 42. That's okay. We can deal with that. We can rid that in like three turns. Four, uh, no, four turns. As long as we don't take too much more stress in the meantime. But yeah, I think it was worth going back and checking that just to stop us, stop us from having some more heartache. I, I didn't expect it to come to come to the key being there because I'm, I'm sure it's going to drive us as far away as it possibly can before we get the key. So we have to travel back. My god, have you ever seen so much food? I'm sure plenty of you have, but <laughs> for me, it's surprising. And here's more. 97 food. Probably didn't need to bring that much food, did I? Right, Linus, you got another thing for us. Um, also, let's just grab bandages on that. That wasn't very worthwhile. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where it was then. I couldn't find it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go down. There is one other way up top. I'm sure it'll be that way now we've gone the complete opposite way. I'm sure it'll be that way, but we'll have to see. One of them. Okay, you're into craving. So let's feed you some blood. There you go. Some maggots. It's the first time I've seen maggots, although these are different maggots. Twitch, Twitching maggot. Is that is that different to normal? This should kill them pretty quick. Like, the, this attack plus Linus doing his AoE attack. Also, I do apologize for the notifications. I keep turning those off and they turn themselves back on. There you go. You're both dead. You're both dead. Easy. Easy. Wait, what? Oh, wait a minute. Is it plausible that there's a lock, like a, a, a key that I haven't found that's like miles away behind me? If so, that is some true bollocks. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be the case. I'm hoping that we can just dip out this way and we'll find the key. Wait, are you are you you're craving now as well? Okay, we're getting through our blood supplies pretty quickly. I did I did kind of expect that though. We got through them pretty quickly the first time as well. There's a fight in here. I do you know what? I can't I can't avoid a fight anyways. I might as well go this way. Ugh, oh, not a great fight. Not a great fight. Um, just get that going. Let's just get reports going on everyone. Okay, Rend wasn't too bad there. We resisted the debuffs. Get that dodge buff going. Repost again here, I think. And lower that dodge. We should pro should, probably should have lowered his prot, actually. Lowering his prot would have been a little better. God damn, especially he's got 75 prot. Holy hell, that's not good. Need some AoE attacks here, I think. Mind my manners. We definitely need some stress relief here as well. well struck. Nice. Stunned that uh, that protection off of him. Grab that. Nice bleed. Keep going with this. I'll do my auto stress relief after this as well. We'll do a bit of that first. Nice, that stun was perfect. We needed that. Luckily, luckily, Linus, I don't really care about getting your stress gone. Let's just keep up with this. I 
I'm actually gonna try this again, because it has a pretty high stun chance. There you go. Plus 40 damage versus size 2 as well. Awesome. And then there you go. We'll do this to lower our stress even further. Big heal on everyone as well. Oh, you died. I didn't even realize you were close to death. Great. Guess that works out for us. And we'll go for a heal here. Get that bleed off you. Nice. And there you go. Made him look like an absolute beach. Wait a minute. I was going to say, why is that Donut Little? But that's because that was the locked one, wasn't it? And because we didn't technically scout it, it doesn't tell us it's a locked door. Right, keep going. We're probably going to find an another battle or two along the way here. Plus, that's fine. But that's okay. There's going to be some back and forth here. There's going to be some, some back traveling. I just hope that it's not too, too much. I don't want to get stuck in these hallways where we don't actually get to fight anything for ages. And it's just us mindlessly walking about. That, like, like I was saying in the previous episode, that is the one thing that so far it looks like in the epic journeys in the courtyard is a little bit problematic. Having to back travel all the way to get to certain keys and things, especially with the slower movement speed of the regular game, isn't particularly fun design. It, it, it leads to some very tedious walking and walking and walking especially if it's really heavy back travel where it sends you out quite far and it doesn't it doesn't loop you back around manually you just got to kind of uh, so automatically sorry you have to go back manually becomes a little bit of a problem but hopefully we won't have to go too far away from this door i'm really hoping it doesn't send us back like over here because i know there's some locked gates but i don't remember where they are and i don't want to have to go around and find them go with that straight away this this seems to crit like quite often also the marking is nice we probably should have gone with a marking synergy really but i'm happy with what we've got going on like lucas is just such a powerful class the rescuer you can really stack stuff up and really he's back up to 42 stress already we just de-stressed him that was also a very big hit and it was a crit bleed as well do you know what i'm just gonna take that off me now and yes that's exactly what i was hoping for no repose for you you're instantly murdered leave me alone i'm already low hp it's okay we can get we can give him a really big heal in a moment provided we don't get hit again nice with that resist as well that works out and then hopefully aoe heal can help us from here and out they're getting heals up, but that's okay. There you go. There you go. And then repursed heal here is going to top this off nicely. We're going to have to deal with the stress here. It just keeps coming. Amaris just keeps taking it. But that's just the way it's got to be, apparently. Just the way it's got to be. We can't, can't worry about it. Seven damage to you. That's awesome. You did. Uh, yeah, I think we just go for the AoE heal. Well, I say AoE, it doesn't heal us. That does, though. There you go, another crit. We always seem to end on a crit with you. Great. Sorry, I love them, but I'm not taking them. Push on to the task's end. Yields a key. Green key. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I didn't expect it to be in one of those chests, though. I was expecting it to be a bit more grandiose. But unfortunately not. Let's keep on trucking. And we have the Baron fight right here. This is the Baron fight. So we want to be... You are craving, yeah. Uh, we want to be camping... Like I said, I don't actually know if I can just camp multiple times in a row. I think I can. I think I can. Well, we'll find out. We've got three camping fires, so... Right, so let's go here. Let's camp. 
Oh, we got four. Oh my god. Uh, we might as well do this. We got enough food. Rats in a maze. So we'll start off with two cost prevent nighttime ambush. That sounds good to me. And then we go. Um, what do we want to go for? I think. Hmm. So yeah, we, we definitely want the the plus fifteen crit there. Then we want the plus fifty armor piercing and bleed chance here. And then for two more, let's just remove some stress there. And then rest. Let's see. Let's see. So you've got plus fifteen crit. If we just go again straight away. Twenty-three. 23. I mean, we've got so much food. We might as well. Um, right. So if then we do the same thing again, prevent nighttime ambush, and we go like that. It does. It does look like sleeping has removed all of our previous buffs. I'm pretty much fine with that. I kind of expected that to be the case, honestly. We might as well do that as our last one. Um, you need the dodge more. I'm only plus five. Yeah, it's okay. So it does look like we can't stack any buffs. That's fine though. I kind of expected that, but we had so much firewood that I had to try it. We get this for four battles, so we sh we should only have two more battles before maybe one. And we should be able to take these guys out relatively easily as well. This extra armor piercing is also really nice. Let's get that going. I didn't think that. I oh yeah, it is everyone that gets armor piercing. Good. Holy damn. <laughs> and that's why camping's good, kids. Holy hell. Okay, you're craving as well now. Should have enough blood for the rest of this fight, though. The rest of this dungeon, should I say. We're very close to the end of it now. Ow. And a bleed as well. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm gonna do this. You might hit us and get yourself killed, but... I have to try for another heal here. Um, let's just do that. You did get the bleed, so now we can take off both those bleeds. Everyone's up to full HP, and we finish you off. What? you got to be kidding me. Okay, thank God you dodged. I was going to be really nice if you got one HP left and managed to get some big damage or a crit or something. That would have been so typical. We got another one of those. Holy hell. We'll leave that for now. And to keep trucking through. And here's our door. Uh, are you in craving? No, you're in bloodlust. If someone else went out of it. Right. This should be the Baron. We are ready. Here we go. Apologies for the notification. I'm going to have to pause and check on that real quick. Okay, it's not urgent. I can continue with this. Right, let's go in. So we've got we've got a plan. Here is the Baron. Oh, that was a loud noise. He's got three actions. <sighs> so I don't particularly know how this works. Oh, okay. So it can stop us from using certain skills. So I reckon first things first is we do this. Well, that's actually rather loud. That's okay, though. Uh, then we do this. Healing... What? Healing prevented? What the hell? I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to use this now, just for that prot on the mark. I was not expecting that. Holy hell. Uh, and right, you have very high dodge. So we will be getting rid of all of that. Thank you. I'll be taking that dodge. <laughs> for four rounds, good. And then we do Motivational Hypnosis, ups his crit to 20%. And we do Sacred Earth again. Upping damage and prot on everyone again. And we can do that one more time. Which we will be doing. Because it lasts for battle. The entire battle it lasts for. So... I think we just set up the repost here. And this is going to be our play. Crowd pleaser. It's going to hurt a little bit. Healing prevented scares me. I'm guessing once I kill this egg thing, that'll stop that, maybe? That's not good. 
But we do have a we do have a move that moves us forward with you, so that's okay. I think motivational one minute, let me just check. Motivational hypnosis can be used from anywhere. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Is healing healing still prevented? Okay, no, it's not. Thank God. I was a little confused there. <laughs> you stunned yourself as well. Lucas has that uh, ability to knock back with a stun. Maddening wine. It's okay. Right. This is going well so far. So we do another motivational hypnosis. We don't need to heal just yet. We can heal with uh, Amorous as well. So we don't have to worry about that too much. Surprised I haven't got the disease yet. Not quite yet. Uh, right. So then we go like that. We did get the blight and bleed there, but that's fine. We make sure you keep that debuff going. Keep that repose going as well. And one more time, for a final of every single member of the party having plus 42 damage and plus 42 pro for the entire fight. For the entire fight, people. This is, a, this is a design, a team design by TEA, by the way, so we can thank him for this genius discovery. He's not someone that plays with modded characters much, but he realized it after I used some of the characters and just created something beautiful. So let's start creating some repursts now. Okay, so, oh, okay, so this has happened again. That's okay, we can get through this pretty quickly. So we guard you. Then we... Get that going, because that got, gets rid of three of those. That noise is very, very loud. Um, then we get that on you again. Lower that dodge. Still got healing prevented here. I'll still I'll still get that repose going nonetheless. This thing's going to be kind of... Uh. Healing prevented? Apparently Amorous has some way of getting through the prevented healing. Which is kind of nutty. Seems pretty valuable. <laughs> yeah, Amaris can go straight through healing prevented. That's very broken. That is very, very broken. That should not be the case. A third's coming in. Nice. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. 33 damage coming in. You're so dead, sir. You're so dead. No, thank you. I love I love his repurse animation. It is literally just like, no, bad dog. And he just gets the spear and slaps him on the nose with it. Hey, you've moved us back into the right position. Thank you. You did get this bleeding horror there. This is, this is really, like, Lucas also is such a hard counter to this as well. I mean, two, Lucas and Linus both heavily counter this. Unfortunately, she's the one in the back, so we can't really do much about that right now. I'm going to make sure our repair stays up. What a genius idea this was. What an absolutely genius idea this was. The biggest buffs you've ever seen, people. Imagine if I brought Space Dust and reactivated his motivational hypnosis, so then I could use it two more times to reactivate his skills. Oh my god. Carnage. Absolute carnage. I need to get these bodies out of the way so I can get to that back bit there. At least our healing isn't disabled like it should be. That's kind of cheesy, that, but I mean, we were already going to absolutely wreck this boss, so I don't feel too bad. Nice, that's one body out the way. That's going to be two bodies out the way, actually. You died to bleed out. Okay, there we go. We're in a good place now. It's just the Baron. Unfortunately, this is going to be kind of a waste, but, oh well. We got the repurse. Oh, your repurse is over. Still activates repurse on us, so I don't mind. Activate repurse there. Activate repurse there. I'm, I'm loving the fact that this activates its repurse, and it's the one that gives her the biggest debuff. The third's coming in. Haha, -ha, you missed. And you are going to be going down very quickly from now on. Oh, and all the dodges as well. All the dodges. Wait, does, I didn't realize his repurst applies the debuff too. That's mental. That's absolutely nutty. He's going to do this attack one more time, worry. Uh, turns into all the balls. Oh, no, he's not, because he is dead. Wow, this group absolutely annihilated. Ooh. 
That's a really, 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 really good trinket for the Duchess. Minus 20% if she has, she has the Crimson Curse, but otherwise she gets massive repurposed bonus and accuracy. And we get a blueprint. Return to the Hamlet, feeling very, very happy. Holy damn. And we also got, for our troubles, the Baron's Lash. Pretty cool. Plus 75 debuff resist. That's insane. Um, we got the Houndmaster one, which is actually pretty good. Uh, plus 25 healing skill. Um, extra accuracy for range skills and extra stress healing while camping. Uh, the Claimants. This is amazing. Uh, attack skill mark self. Um, buffs. Uh, on a friendly skill, bust target with minus eight crits received while marked and extra accuracy while marked. And then we've also got a revenant one, which is also really, really good. Extra damage, pro and dodge. Look at all this. Brrr. The amount of food that's there, look. Food! <laughs> awesome. Hey, and Rowell's made it to level five as well. Awesome. You guys did an absolutely fantastic job. Removes the Crimson Curse from all affected heroes. Everyone is healed. My god. Every single person has been healed up. Awesome. And we come out of this with an insane amount of uh, just everything. So first thing I want to do, obviously check the stagecoach. We haven't got anything great in there, to be honest. Um, I want to go and check our... Uh, these here, like the buildings, because we have so many that we can build now, and we have the ability to build all of them. So let's have a look, see if there's any of them that are particularly really, really good. Um, I'm looking for really strong buffs here. That one's pretty good. Um, minus 10 stress, plus 2 uh, speed, extra blight uh, chance, sorry, minus blight chance for the calming toxin, and plus damage on finale for the jester. Them two are good. Uh, two additional respite points if you have at least one abomination Fal uh, falconeer, helion, or leper in your party. That sounds great. Um, respite points are really strong. Um, we've got the dark rest and succubus, minus, uh, plus 10 idle stress relief in town per week. Extra stress heals and unholy curios heal 20 stress. That's also really good. And we have the race track, which herding tactics plus 20 while it's boring. Pet cemetery. Interesting. Okay, we've got some good ones there. We'll kind of focus on some other stuff first, though. So let's uh let's go to like these. This one's definitely one that we need to upgrade a lot. So it's actually surprising how little busts we have. So I think this is fully upgraded, right? Um Almost. We don't we don't have our roster size increased, but that's not something that we need yet. Um maybe we could look into upgrading both of these. Wait, is it, which one's not at level five? Is this one not at level five yet? Wait a minute. So one second, I'm confused. Here it says Train Regiment to level five and furnace to level five. Oh, okay. It's these. Some may fall. So we'll get all of that done. Lives on. So that's done in fairness. A sharper sword, cool. A stronger shield. Anything then we've got that done as well. So now we can go over here and get that done. More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory. Um, I mean, we could just pop our roster upgrade right now. But I think it's better that we go for this and upgrade this a little more. Um, even though it does require some trading, which is not great at the best of times. We can trade some portraits, because we don't need those right now for... First off, let's trade 10, and we'll go with... Oh, we need 30, holy hell. We'll go with that. There you go. Got got more slots there. Tonics can overcome things a sharpened sword cannot. And then we'll go another ten there for sixteen and increased chance of curing extra diseases. I think that's good. Curious methodologies and apparatus. And most tormented soul. We could. I think. I think we should upgrade this fully. You know. I really do. I think even though it's costly and we're having to do a lot of trading. And portraits are insanely valuable. This may seem dumb to some, but to me, I think it's going to be good. How do we unlock the last... Is... Ah, it's that one. Okay, that's fine. 
Treatment cost is important anyways, so I'm happy with that. And then we've got to get 60. That's insane. Um, hmm, we'll leave that for now. We'll, we'll stick with what we have. Uh, let's just quickly check up on the Nomad Wagon and see if there's anything in here that we desperately want. We need to look over these trinkets again and get some more of these going soon. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. We have one more diary entry written by me before we end off. This is also amended by Pineapple, so thank you for him for fixing my English. And this is for Linus, the trap maker. The trap maker's eye is a curious one, my technique unwitnessed by my own eyes. But these past few days, I've seen my traps and tricks in action, and they're more destructive than I could have ever imagined. Oof, that really hits hard for him because he is he was pretty unwilling to make traps for the war but he was forced so he never really saw what his traps did to his foe and now that he's seen it up close and personal it's traumatizing but at the same time a bit of a thrill considering what he's killing but either way really good mission really good kill thank you guys for the support on the series the diary entries and thank you guys for helping me especially ta with the different build it was just awesome hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one